morning. I'm here at Matale. I just started walking at 5.53. I didn't sleep that well. I went to sleep at 9 o'clock. Uh, the mosquitoes were biting me, so I think I started sleeping at 12 o'clock. And then I woke up like every hour or two hours. And yeah, I, I would have needed a mosquito net. But the room was only 700 rupees, so that's okay. And I'm, I'm not sure now if I'm going to walk until Candy. The distance to Candy is 29 kilometers. But after 20 kilometers, I, I'm gonna see how I feel. I just, I might, I might just take, take a room and do all the unfinished work today. I haven't had the time to edit my videos and photos for the last five days. So I've been walking two hours now. The distance I have walked now is 10 kilometers. And I still have 18 to Candy. Uh, the road is getting steeper. And I mean, Candy is at the elevation of 500 meters. Matale was at uh, 360. So it's maybe getting a bit cooler, foggier. But Nuvarelia is really high. It's like 1.8 kilometers of elevation. Today I think I'm gonna walk until Candy. But if I feel like I might, I might stop before that. I'm not sure yet. So I've been walking four hours now. I still have eight kilometers to go. And up to now I have walked 20 kilometers. It's quite hot. So I feel really exhausted now. And I think I'm going to take a break soon. I get somewhere. And then continue the last eight kilometers. Oh. So it's only eight kilometers to Candy. Oh, I can't wait to be there. In the end, I ended up walking 25 kilometers from Matale to Candy. Before finding my accommodation, I, I ate at Pizza Hut. I got one place at Booking.com, but they sent a message. They have to decline because they weren't here in Candy. So I found this place, which is, which is like really great. The price is good, and well, it's actually a room for three, four people. But yeah, the price was only thousand seven hundred seventy-five, and it includes the breakfast. And I just asked, and they said also laundry is included. Like the first time is free, so I just have to say, really amazing place. And I actually arrived two days ago here, but I was I was so tired after walking 25 kilometers because there were a lot of hills I had to climb uphill. I had to walk a long time in the sun. So two days ago, I just I was just sleeping here. I didn't do much. Yesterday I went to. I went to the city and I took the bus to uh, to the Royal Botanical Garden which is a bit more than five kilometers from the center at Peradinia. The Botanical Garden was really amazing. Uh, the ticket costs 2,000 rupees. There were a lot of different plants, uh, trees, everything from around the world. Also there were a lot of monkeys, a lot of bats flying, which was, which was nice. After that I went to Candy City Center back and I visited the Sacred Tooth Temple, which was nice. The ticket costs 1,500 to go there. For locals it's free, so yeah, I was a bit upset. I don't have a Sri Lankan passport yet, but I mean, 
next time I come here, I really want to have the Sri Lankan passport, but first I have to get my dad's birth certificate, my parents' marriage documents, and I don't know what else. So it's going to be a hard process, but but I think it's going to be worth it. And yesterday I was also really tired after walking, walking in the sun and heat for many hours. I actually went went to the Sacred Tooth Temple with a Sri Lanka guy. Um, he sent me a message on couch surfing, and yeah, he joined me there, and he was a great guy. So thank you, Chan, for joining me. And after after that, I, I just took the took you back here. And today, I decided I'm just going to have a rest day. I, I'm not going to do anything. I just relaxing, eating, doing some unfinished work on my computer and tomorrow I will either continue my walk towards Novaraelia or I will stay two more days because there is an organization uh, that I contacted in Finland and I might get to know their activities here so if I get to do that I will promote their their activities uh, for my followers and I, it seems good it's like a volunteer work but let's see I'm I think I'm going to call one of the persons about it so I don't know what happens but today I'm just going to rest <laughs>